Welcome friends to this video. We are going to be learning how to draw the oblique muscles. So I'm going to break this down into a few different parts. First, we'll take a look at the muscle movement. And then second, we will take a look at the skeleton, the underlying bones that the obliques attach to. And then lastly, we'll go ahead and draw the oblique muscles on top of the muscle skeleton. So let's get started with the muscle movement and on the right of your screen here I have an illustration of the first movement the obliques are mainly in response for is doing a side crunch of moving the ribs down or even it could be that they could move the pelvis toward the ribs uh, slightly depending on the position that you're in. And then the second movement is the twisting of the ribs or the pelvis. Uh, from side to side. And then the third movement is assisting the abs in doing a crunch, uh, either moving the ribs down or, for example, if you're laying down, moving the pelvis up. So those are the three different movements of the obliques. And now that we kind of have a better idea of how the muscle movement is, let's take a look at where the obliques attach to on the skeleton. So over on the left of my drawing here, I have a outline of the skeleton and I have developed uh, separate videos. If you would like to take a look at the ribs or the spine or the pelvis, I'll leave those links in the description so you can kind of take a look at the fundamental proportions and where all of the uh, points or where all the skeleton fits together. So we're going to look at the origin, which starts at the pelvic crest down here at the bottom. And the origin is typically the area of the muscle that moves the least. And then the assertion is the other side of the muscle, which is on the fifth rib, uh, where the ribs will typically move the most. So let's go ahead and start drawing those on the anterior or the front view of my skeleton. I'm going to dim this down just a bit so we can better see the muscles as I draw them. All right, so starting here at the bottom of the origin, we have at the pelvic crest about halfway over. The other half is going to be room for the abdomen. We're gonna come up here to the iliac crest at the top. It's gonna to curve around the, around the side, but we can't see that from the front view. It's actually gonna come pretty well straight up here to the side of the ribs. Now the insertion is the fifth rib, so we'll count one, two, three, four, five, about halfway over. The other half is going to be for the abdomen, so about halfway, it's going to come straight down to the origin of the pelvic crest. And then it's going to curve right along that fifth rib, and it's also going to do a little bit of a zigzag from the front view. If you take a look at my uh, illustration over on the right, you'll see it kind of, uh, the highlighted muscle, it kind of stair steps its way down the ribs in the front. So it attaches to the next rib, comes down, attaches the next rib, uh, and then eventually on the side, it will, you can't see it go all the way down, but then it'll attach uh, to the side of the ribs and come straight down. Now, one more thing to note on the front view is the obliques got their name from a diagonal, and you get that from the muscle fibers here at the ribs. You can kind of see them depending on how the obliques are shown. So for example, if you're extended, you're probably gonna actually see the ribs because they're stretched. But if you're starting to flex and move that muscle down, you actually might see that oblique muscle here in the rib section. So it can kind of be confusing. Uh, however, they are not in the same angle as the ribs. And then down here at the bottom is the flank portion and you're not gonna see the muscle fibers in that area because they're not pressed up against the skeleton of the ribs here. So that's the front view. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the side view. We'll start at the same origin point here at the pubic crest and then it'll come up here to the iliac crest and wrap around it, kind of like I was talking about earlier, and it'll go back toward the spine here. Then up at the origin, or sorry, the insertion, would be the fifth rib. So we'll go one, two, three, four, five right here at the front of the rib, and then it'll come down, wrap in front of the rib, and come down to the origin at the pubic crest. And then it will go about halfway along the rib. And let's go ahead and move our illustration to the side here. Okay. 
And you can also see that zigzag pattern down along the ribs. So about halfway here, it starts to go down to the next rib, attach, go down to the next rib, attach, go down to the next rib, attach, next rib, attach, and all the way down until it gets to the spine and kind of curves along the spine and then attaches here at the iliac crest. And same thing on the side view, it's gonna be a little diagonal, uh, the muscle fibers here along the ribs. And I think that will cover the oblique lesson for the front and the side view. Hopefully you found this helpful. As always, please leave any suggestions or questions that you would like to see or have answered as I'm working through my video series of anatomy so I can practice and get better at drawing my figures and I can't wait to share those with you. So please be sure you're subscribed so you won't miss out on any of those videos in the future. And I'll see you in the next one. So long.